Hello students, myself Amrita Roy. Today we are going to study a part of the subject network analysis. The chapter is attenuators and equalizer. So let's get started. But, uh, first, let us go through the contents. We are going to study about the basic idea of attenuator, difference between attenuator and filter, what is attenuator network, symmetrical T and pi attenuator, and lastly, the field of application of attenuators. Basic idea of attenuator. An attenuator is an electronic device that reduces the power of a signal without appreciably distorting its waveform. An attenuator is effectively the opposite of an amplifier though the two work by different methods. While an amplifier provides gain, an attenuator provides loss or gain less than one. Difference between attenuator and filter. An attenuator reduces the magnitude of the voltage or current entering its terminals by a constant amount at all frequencies and is usually constructed using pure resistors. Attenuators are also used for example at the input of an electronic instrument in order to reduce a voltage or current to a value which can be handled by the instrument. A filter is a circuit which attenuates certain frequencies while allowing others to pass with very little attenuation. So what is an attenuator circuit? An attenuator network must fulfill the following conditions. It must give correct input impedance, it must give correct output impedance and lastly it must also provide specified attenuation. So in general, attenuation is expressed in decibel as follows. That is capital D equals to 10 log base 10 mod value of P input divided by P output. Where D is the attenuation in decibel. But we can express attenuation in NIPER as follows. That is capital D equals to 20 log base 10 root over of P input by P output that is equals to 20 log base 10 into capital N where N is the attenuation in NIPER so we can rewrite N as anti log base 10 D by 20 so first one is the symmetrical D attenuator in the given circuit we can see that R0 is connected in series with R1 by 2 which is connected in parallel with R2 and again the last two resistances R1 by 2 and R0 are connected in series with each other which is connected in parallel with R by, with R2. So in the circuit we have total 5 resistances, one supply voltage and uh, the current is dividing as I1 and I2. So according to the current divider rule we can write the equation of I2 as I1 multiplied by R2 divided by R2 plus R0 plus R1 by 2. But for symmetrical networks we know that capital N is equals to I1 by I2 which is giving us R0 plus R2 plus R1 by 2 divided by R2. Now for properly terminated network input impedance is given by R input equals to R0 equals to R0 plus R1 by 2 parallel to R2 plus R1 by 2 that is basically we are writing the equation for the resistance by calculating by follow by properly following the circuit so if we want to calculate the input resistance we are going to see which resistances are in connected in series and parallel and rewrite the equation by looking at the circuit that is we after rearranging the equation we will rewrite the equation of R0 as R2 multiplied by R0 plus R1 by 2 divided by R0 plus R2 plus R1 by 2 plus R1 by 2 from equation 2 if we substitute 1 by n for R2 divided by R0 plus R2 plus R1 by 2, 
we will get r naught equals to r naught plus r1 by 2 divided by n plus r1 by 2. Now if we cross multiply capital N we will get n r naught equals to r naught plus r1 by 2 plus n into r1 by 2. Now on the left hand side of the equation we will keep the coefficients of r naught and on the right hand side of the equation we will keep the coefficients of r1. So rearranging the coefficients we will write the left side of the equation as r naught into n minus 1 and on the right hand side of the equation we will we will get r1 by 2 into n plus 1. So r1 by 2 equals to r naught into n minus 1 by n plus 1. So from equation 2 we can write n r2 equals to r naught plus r2 plus r1 by 2. Now if we cross multiply 2 on left hand side and if we write the coefficient of r2 on the left side of the equation we will get r2 into n minus 1 and that will give us r2 and on the right hand side of the equation we will keep the coefficients of r0 only. So we will write it as r0 plus r0 into n minus 1 divided by n plus 1. Now if we cross multiply n plus 1 on the left hand side we will get r2 into n plus 1 into n minus 1 that is r2 into n square minus 1 that is we will write in the a square minus b square format which will give us on the right hand side if we keep the coefficients of r0 on the right hand side of the equation r0 into n plus 1 plus r0 into n minus 1. Now r2 equals to r0 into 2n divided by n square minus 1. So equations a and b are called the design equations for a symmetrical t attenuator. Next is symmetrical pi attenuator. In the circuit we can see there are 5 resistances present. The middle resistances are doubled that is 2R2 and R0, R1 and R0 are kept in parallel with 2R2 resistances. So the characteristic impedance is a pure resistive uh, value that is R0 and propagation constant is given by gamma equals to alpha. Then according to the theory of symmetrical network, the shunt arm and the series arm can be expressed in terms of R0 and alpha as follows. So in the first equation we will write R1 equals to R0 into hyperbolic sin alpha and the second equation we will write as 2R2 equals to R0 divided by hyperbolic tan of alpha by 2. Now simplifying equation 1 we will get R1 equals to R0 into if we substitute the value of hyperbolic sin alpha we will get e to the power alpha minus e to the power minus alpha whole divided by 2. Now we know that capital N equals to I1 divided by I2 that is equals to e to the power alpha. Now R1 equals to R0 into n minus 1 by n by 2. We can see that n is equals to e to the power alpha. So if we substitute the value of e to the power alpha by n. So in the equation of R1 e to the power alpha will be replaced by n and e to the power minus alpha will be replaced by 1 by n. So if we rearrange the equation we will get R0 by 2 equals to n square minus 1 by 2n. Now simplifying equation 2 we can write 2R2 equals to R0 into 1 divided by hyperbolic tan e to the power alpha by 2. Now we, can, we know that the value of hyperbolic tan e to the power alpha by 2 is e to the power alpha by 2 minus e to the power minus alpha by 2 whole divided by e to the power alpha by 2 plus e to the power minus alpha by 2. So we will substitute the value of hyperbolic tan e to the power alpha by 2 in the equation. So we will get R0 into 1 divided by e to the power alpha by 2 minus e to the power minus alpha by 2 divided by e to the power alpha by 2 plus e to the power minus alpha by 2. So by reciprocating we will rewrite the equation as 2 
into R2 equals to R0 into e to the power alpha by 2 plus e to the power minus alpha by 2 whole divided by e to the power alpha by 2 minus e to the power minus of alpha by 2. Now multiplying both the numerator and denominator by factor e to the power alpha by 2 on right hand side of the equation we will get 2r2 equals to r0 into e to the power alpha plus 1 divided by e to the power alpha minus 1. So if we substitute the value of e to the power alpha by n we will get the equation as 2r2 equals to r0 into n plus 1 divided by n minus 1. So equations a and b are called the design equations of a symmetrical pi attenuator. Lastly, the field of application of attenuators. So fixed attenuators in circuits are used to lower voltage, dissipate power and improve impedance matching. In case of measuring signals, attenuator pads or adapters are used to lower the amplitude of the signal to a known amount to enable measurement or to protect the measuring device from signal levels that might damage it. So in the next presentation we will study about the equalizer purpose of equalizer up till now thank you.